Hi guys, just picked up this 1997 Virago 1100. It's a Yamaha. Um, really like the ride of the bike, but a few things I would like to change. First being the exhaust, which will be in this video. Uh, the stock is just a little too quiet for me. I'm not a big fan of obnoxiously loud exhaust, but there's a certain point where uh, it can be a safety concern as well. The other being the the, the lower controls, so the brake and gear shift, they're a little bit tight, uh, or a little bit cramped for me. Um, I'm 6'1". This bike would probably be perfect for someone around 5'8 and under. So I do have forward controls, and they're just in the mail, so I'll do a video as soon as they arrived on installing the forward controls as well. So here's the stock exhaust. I'll do an audio test with that at the end of the video. Uh, I'm gonna record it with my Yeti mic so you get a better audio quality. And then I'll record the aftermarket exhaust which just came in. Uh, it's a Cobra exhaust. And I picked it up from Dynamic Cycle Parts out of Canada. So let's throw that in. It comes with a super vague set of instructions. For anyone interested, I'll copy this and put a link in the description below. First step is to remove the stock exhaust and front head pipe. Back off both exhaust clamps. The bolts don't have to be removed completely, but it can make the removal of the exhaust easier. Remove the two bolts holding the right side passenger foot peg in place. Remove the lower bolt of the left side passenger foot peg. You can use the right side passenger foot peg bolt to support the exhaust through the next couple of steps. Remove the head pipe hardware. Make sure to save the gasket if it's in good condition. The head pipe should now be able to slide off. Remove the two bolts securing the right side driver's foot rests assembly. The stock exhaust is now able to be removed. Before you forget, pry out the nut from the stock exhaust that holds the left side passenger foot peg in place, then reinstall. With the supplied hardware, align and bolt the new exhaust together, just snug as it'll have to be adjusted later. Remove the rubber grommet from the center stand and install it on the exhaust bracket. So in my attempt to remove the muffler gasket, it is completely destroyed. Cobra states to reuse the stock gasket but I guess I was wishful thinking and that I could get this out of a 20 plus year old bike without damaging it. 
and the replacement part for that is a week away. So I guess this project's on hold until then. And through the magic of the camera, bam, my exhaust gasket. Thank God. So it gets installed in a lower uh, muffler like so, just on the inside there. I'm gonna install it on the header side first, uh, just so it's less likely to damage the inside of the gasket. Slide the bottom muffler over the head pipe and gasket. Use the foot peg bolt to hold in place. Slide the front head pipe into the top muffler. No gasket is needed for this connection. Reinstall the head pipe gasket in hardware. Secure the right side passenger foot peg back in place. Align the mufflers and tighten into place. After you've determined nothing is binding, and everything is straight, tighten both exhaust clamps. Reinstall the driver's footrest assembly. It is important to clean the new exhaust with a chrome polish prior to starting. This is to remove any grease or fingerprints. Well guys, there you have it. I think it sounds a hell of a lot better and looks the part as well. Um, two things, one is rejetting. Cobra recommends to rejet. This bike was running rich to begin with, so I'm just gonna take it out for a quick rip and uh, decide if I'm gonna rejet it or not. The second thing is that muffler gasket for the rear rear muffler. I just recommend just buying it because you're not going to get that out in one piece and you're going to save yourself a lot of trouble. All right, till next time. 
Hi guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I basically make how-to videos that are trades related on my spare time. If this video helped you out, subscribing, liking, or commenting on the video would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.